Hi friends, uh, today I am going to discuss about uh, stains and uh, FAB classification of uh, of AML acute myeloblastic leukemia stains there are four remain stains here those are myeloperoxidase I denote it as MPO Sudan black and periodic acid stiff pass and non non specific estrays NSC You have to remember this and many questions uh, come here. Both these myeloperoxidase and Sudan black are uh, positive for myeloid lineage. Except for and these are negative in AML M0 m6 m7 i will discuss i you will be get to know in this uh, things in fab classification what you have to remember is uh, myeloid lineage is uh, strongly positive for mp1 and so on like what is myeloid lineage uh, please uh, refer my other video ontogeny of uh, immune cells and uh, monocytes are weakly or generally negative but weakly positive for this uh, for these stands, monocytes are weakly positive. Generally, they are negative. Coming to this one, pass lymphoid lineage is strongly positive. Erythroblasts. Are strongly positive and platelets, megakaryoblasts are also positive. Coming to non specific estrays, monoblastic uh, monoblasts, these are strongly positive. You have to remember this is very important this is very important from this we can say if a patient with leukemia when we stain his blood it will be past positive period periodic as, acid shift uh, positive will be there in uh, leukemia patients where are all these comes and we will get to know it in fab classification fab classification divides uh, AML into many types starting with uh, M0 M0 is uh, AML which is minimally differentiated minimal differentiation is present here And as there is a mi minimal differentiation, these are myeloperoxidase negative. I already said here, myeloid lineage all will be positive for myeloperoxidase except M0, M6 and M7. This is a MP1 negative because due to minimal uh, differentiation. Coming to M1, M1 is uh, AML without uh, maturation the 
that is myeloblasts are present but they are not matured but it will be positive for myeloperoxidase you have to remember this only M0, M6, M7 are uh, myeloperoxidase negative M1 is uh, myeloperoxidase positive coming to the next one M2 M2 is the most common AML, most common subtype of AML, asked many times. And what is this is AML with maturation. As simple as such, AML with maturation is a M2. Coming to the other associated features in uh, M2, the most important thing is chloromas. You have to remember this chloromas. These are the pro proliferation of myeloblast in extramedullary sites. Collection or proliferation of um, myeloblast in extramedullary sites is called uh, chloromas. These sites are paranasal sinuses, sternum, ribs, etc. etc. And this is associated with a good prognosis. And the translocation here will be T821. This is a good prognosis. Coming to the next one, M3. This is promyelocytic. This is promyelocytic. Our rods are present maximum. Maximum number of our rods is are present in M3 only. What are our rods? Our rods are made up of uh, lysosomes. Our rods are also present in uh, other uh, other ML also. Not only M3, but these are maximum in here. As there are maximum number of uh, our rods, they release certain substances, and this cause DIC, disseminated intravascular coagulation, is seen in M3. And translocation here is T1517. Coming to the next type, M4. M4 is AML with myelomonocytic. Myelomonocytic. Maturation. Myelomonocytic maturation. As I already said, monocytes are strongly positive for non specific X rays. This subtype is NSE positive and there are also myeloblast MPO positive. This is the important thing to remember. And other important things here are eosinophilia and gingival hyperplasia are seen. Eosinophilia and gingival hyperplasia is seen. Here, inversion 16, translocation 16, 16 is associated with this uh, M4. You can easily remember 4, 16, uh, 4 square is uh, 16. This is translocation. And it is also associated with the uh, neurofibromatosis type 1. Coming to M5, it is monocytic maturation, AML with the uh, monocytic maturation 
it will be only NSE positive as uh, monocyte is uh, NSE positive only NSE positive here also the more important thing here is organ infiltration tissue infiltration is seen tissue infiltration of cancer cells uh, are seen here also we will see gingival hyperplasia and uh, it is associated with sweet syndrome just remember the name that's uh, no need to go deep sweet syndrome is associated with amlm5 coming to the next type m6 aml with erythroid maturation Erythroid is pass positive. We already uh, we have discussed it. Uh, erythroblasts are pass positive, but the difference between lymphoid and erythroblast is diffuse. Erythroblasts are diffuse positive. They are tot positive. Lymphoid uh, lymphocytes are uh, dot positive and erythroblasts are uh, lympho diffuse positive. Diffuse positive. And here, what you have to remember is it it is associated with a poor prognosis. All M zero M six M seven. Uh, to poor prognosis only and the other important thing it occurs as a therapy related uh, any chemotherapy or radiotherapy uh, uh, taken patients will get M6 type of uh, AML and this is also known as D Guglielmo disease. Like Guglielmo disease. Come the last one, M7. M7 is mechacardiocytic maturation. AML with mechacardiocytic maturation. Mega parasites are nothing but platelets. 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 As I already said, uh, platelets and erythro pass are uh, pass positive. Here also it is pass positive. And some important things uh, here we have to discuss is uh, this is associated with the Down syndrome. And it is it can be a uh, CD forty one sixty one. The marker here is uh, CD forty one sixty one. As I already said, it carries a bad prognosis. As a result, uh, there are uh, increased number of platelets. There is also increasing in a uh, platelet derived growth factor. This platelet derived growth factor in bone marrow. It causes fibrosis. That's the major thing about uh, this myelocytes. And coming to the said that uh, M0, M6, M7 are uh, MP1 negative and uh, poor prognosis whereas M2, M3, M4 carries good prognosis. These are the basic things you have to remember regarding AML. Thank you for watching and please subscribe if you like the video. Thank you and have a nice day.